Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's the girl, Miss Minx, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm just gonna kind of share with y'all like what my experience was um, with the first thing I ever manifested. Um, and just, it's really like, yeah, y'all gonna love this. I got some gems, but I always got gems. I mean, I am a Gemini, hello. <laughs> if it is your first time stumbling across my channel, what's good with you, where you been? My name is Michelle, uh, also known as Miss Meeks. I create these type of videos to help you shift into your favorite life so you can be your favorite self and just have the most delicious life experience you can. So, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. And um, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I wanna start this video off with a truth that I mean it's like you know it but you don't all the way know it right it's like I see so many of us talking about manifestation I want to manifest this I want to manifest this and I feel like it's really important to recognize that your life is the way it is as a result of manifestation like manifestation isn't like a job it's 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 kind of like breathing um <laughs> And I feel like a lot of us get a little caught up in how to do it. And it's like, you're already doing it, my love. The way your life is right now, whatever reality you're experiencing in your life that you want to shift into something differently, um, the reason why your reality is the way it is, is because that's what you are manifesting currently. And so let's just start there and with that food for thought. But pretty much what ended up happening for me, I, I feel like my journey of just being the co-creator of my life experience, that journey started more as like a personal development type of journey. Meaning what? Meaning that I decided I wanted to work on myself, not even for myself. I want, I've want. i always been, y'all, I'm a care bear. I love people. I grew up an only child, and so I got, my mom doted on me. The woman loved me. My mom was one of those moms. She pulls out her wallet, 1,511 pictures. My daughter is so smart. She's so beautiful. She gets all A's and B's. Like, my mother bragged on me, okay? So because I received all that love, it made me very soft, okay? And so because of a lot of the experiences that I had, um, I kind of disconnected from my natural nature of being a freaking Care Bear. And so I evolved based on like the experiences I had because you know, my mom passed away. Me and my mom, that was my best friend. That's my girl, like what? So, you know, my mom passed away and I had like, <laughs> you know, relationship stuff and I was trying to figure out, I always had this question like, hold on, what is this life shit? What are we doing? Why are we waking up every day? Like, what gives, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, into my 20s, I had, of course, experienced a lot in life and the natural nature that I have to be very soft and very just, I'm very sensitive myself. My dad used to always get on my ass. He didn't get on my ass, but like growing up, I remember my dad always being like, you're so sensitive and yeah, I'm a Care Bear. And what about it? Didn't you read the instructions? You gotta handle me with care. Like, what is you talking about? And what about it? So, so I'm just saying that to say my natural nature is, softness and, and being sweet, but a lot of times, and that's honestly all of our natural natures is being just soft and open and loving. Um, but what happens is that we start to have these experiences in life and these experiences make us feel like we have to be hard and be this thing that it's like, no, that's not even who you are. That's who your experiences have um, kind of forced you to become. And not even forced you, that's kind of who you've basically chosen to become as a result of your experiences, right? So 
saying all that to say, when I, I would say it was a little bit after my mom passed away. My mom passed away in 2015. And, you know, as you can imagine, that was a life altering experience for me. And a lot of people didn't show up for me. I went through that alone. I was my mom's only child. You know, no one helped me with anything. The first year my mom passed away, no one called me. No one checked on me. And it was just, I felt like I was the only one who cared that my mom was gone. And so that, and just not even having my mom in the world, created this idea in my head that I have to protect myself and I got to always be walking around in this state of hypervigilance and like being cautious. But then I just, I just recognized, and it wasn't even for me, I recognized how I would interact with people and I would be impatient with them or I would just be rude, condescending, judgmental of them. And I decided that I didn't like the way I was making people feel. And that was what my first thing that I really decided that I wanted. I decided that rather than being an impatient person, a judgmental person, I decided like, I don't like that. And it wasn't even for me. I just, it broke my heart the way I knew I was making other people feel. It's very easy for me to put myself in other people's shoes and see things from different perspectives. You know, that's the benefit of being a Gemini. We're naturally like mutable and multidimensional in nature. And so it's like, I'm literally a Care Bear and I'm out here acting like I'm a daggone G.I. Jane. And it's like, no, like you are not, stop, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so it started to get to me, you know, how I would treat people and I didn't like that. And I was like, you know what? This world is annoying and crazy enough. Like I wanna be part of the good stuff in the world, not the, reason why someone goes home and feels like crap because I went off on them or, you know, I was impatient with them or I wasn't as kind as I could have been, you know? And so I decided that I wanted to be a better person for the world around me. It wasn't even for me. And so I decided which areas of my life that I wanted to see changing. I used to, like, I used to have zero patience. Y'all, I used to work in this call center and when people would call me and they would be like, um, yeah, I have, I'd be like, come on, like spit it out. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, why? What is the big deal? Bitch, you about to be at this job for eight hours. Why are you rushing this lady to hurry up and say what she got to say? Like, relax. You know what I'm saying? And so I decided that I wanted to be more patient. And then also when it came to my body, I used to feel like, you know, I need to exercise and eat a certain way. Now I know that I can have anybody I want. I use subliminals. Like my body is on fleet right now because of subliminals. But um, back then I felt like, okay, I have, I should be eating a certain way and doing exercises so my body could look a certain way. But I wasn't really like, I didn't have discipline to get the kind of sustained results that I wanted. So I decided that I wanted to be disciplined and I wanted to commit to a, a routine that took care of my body because when I liked how I felt, that made me uh, give better experience at, better experiences out into the world, you know? So I decided I wanted to be more patient. I decided I wanted to be more disciplined. And then I decided that I wanted to have every day be what I consider to be a good day. I used to have like, like I, I didn't have my tiger by the tail. When it came to my emotions and my feelings, it was like everywhere and I was like, a thermostat. I was responding to everything happening to me. And no, I take that back. I wasn't even responding. I was reacting to everything that was happening to me. And I was like, you know what? I want to be more poised. I want to be just like, I, I don't want to be like ungrounded because of what's going on around me. I want to be a thermostat. I want to set the temperature and then let the room meet me. You know what I'm saying? So I just decided those type of things. So that was the first thing. I decided that, you know what, I wanna work on these things. I wanna see changes in these areas of my life. And so what happened, I actually made a video on this, changing any habit in like five minutes. 
So what I ended up doing was I started to first think to myself, like if let's say I had an experience where I went off on somebody, I let my anger get the best of me. After the fact, when I would be feeling like crap about it, I'd be like, oh my God, I was so rude to that lady. I feel so bad. <laughs> Afterward, when I was in that space, I would think back about the situation and instead of replaying how it went, I would start to think of how I would have liked for it to have gone, you know? So I started to think, you know, I would have preferred, I started to think of what my preference would have been in that situation that already passed. I started to think about, you know, I would have much rather preferred to have spoken to her with more respect and patience. This lady probably been working all day. She probably tired. Child, I don't know, but we all out here just trying to do our best in this whole life thing. So there's no reason to be rude to people. And so I started to think like that about every area of my life. I started to think like, okay, like this habit and this particular like part of my life is something I wanna shift. And then I started to think of specific experiences that I had already had that I wasn't a fan of. And I decided to replace those experiences with my preferred responses in those situations. And so I started to think about it and I was like, you know what, yeah, that's that's more like it. That's that's more like it. That's how that's how I handle that situation. And I affirm that, you know what, when things like this happen, this is how I handle it. You know what I mean? And so I feel like by me doing that, it helped me to just create a whole new like identity for myself. And that's a big part of manifestation and shifting into whatever type of experience you wanna have in your life is how you identify yourself. And so my self identity shifted um, when I decided how I would prefer to respond to certain things in my life. Um, and you can do the same things, right? So. Let's say you have a limiting belief. I like to use money all the time because let's, who are we kidding? We all, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is a safe place, come on. So I use money in my videos as an example, but for me it was like, okay, let's say like you are wanting to experience the type of life where you always have money in your bank account and you can buy anything that you want. You have to start to identify the behaviors and thoughts that you're already doing that you wouldn't be doing in your new experience and in your new like way of life. So what that looks like is I wanna shift into the type of experience where I always have money. Well then, the type of thought pattern like, oh, I'm not gonna have any money until I get paid in two weeks, or I'm not gonna have any money until next week, that contradicts that, you know what I mean? So instead, it's important to think like, okay, I want to live this type, I wanna experience this type of life. I have to shift this thought instead of thinking this thought that, oh, I money is hard for me to get, I never have any money, I'm going to choose to rest in the truth that I always have money. No matter what I can see, I have no idea what type of blessings and what type of financial breakthroughs are, are ready to pop right into my experience. And so when we do that, that is basically how we shift. Because like we said in the beginning of the video, we're already manifesting. Your life is, is, is the same because uh, your thoughts are the same. The way you respond to things are the same. So you're gonna keep experiencing the same things. Um, so what it took for me, um, I just did that behavior modification trick that I shared with y'all. And I wanna fast forward to the fact that it manifested and I didn't realize it. That's how we're gonna close this video, y'all. Because the thing about manifestation and the thing that we lose sight of, and I actually talked about this in my video about um, when I manifested $20,000 in 24 hours. We 
ask for things and then we get them and then we immediately proceed to think of, well, what do I want next, right? And that's natural, it's normal, right? Because you can have any and everything you want. So yeah, okay, cool, I got that, now what? But <laughs> what is extremely important to do um, and the reason why it's important to go slow and be very present in your, in your everyday experience of life is because um, you'll recognize that everything you have in your life you wanted at some point and you already have it. And that's basically what it was for me. Um, when I shifted, okay, that motorcycle is motorcycling. I don't know, it's, it's biker boys outside right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the thing for me. Even So, and I realized that when I decided that I wanted to shift into an experience where I had $20,000 available in my bank account, when I decided I wanted to shift into that experience, there's a girl, her name is Brown and Bendy. She has a really amazing video and she talked about that, like realizing that everything that you've ever wanted, you have now. So you always have what it is that you want. So it's just about recognizing it. And so when we slow down in our everyday experiences and we take a minute when we're driving our cars to remember, wow, like I used to want this car and now I have it. I used to be walking and now I have the car that I wanted. Um, when we take a second and slow down, and even though maybe you are working to shift into a different experience where you earn money a different way and when money flows to you a different way, Remember that the way that you currently are receiving money is the way that you want it to at some point. At some point, you want it to have a job. At some point, you want it to earn that money. At some point, that's how you want it to do things and you're doing it already. And when we do that and when we're able to recognize that, it takes, it, and I say this all the time, it really takes your desired experience off of a pedestal and it's it, it, it's like I have everything that I want so it's like I want this new lifestyle I want this money I want this and I have everything that I want so I have that thing then already it's it's a thing it's a concept but I didn't even re but what I want to close out with is that I manifested a new version of myself and I didn't even perceive it until like maybe a year afterward I was like yo like I forgot I wanted to be this person I forgot that like I used to be a certain way and I decided you know what I want to manifest a different version of myself and she's here and I didn't even recognize her you know so that's why it's very important that we um, experience our everyday life in a state of present moment awareness because when you do that um, you can slow down and really be like wow like even though there are other experiences that um, I am shifting into I always wanted to shift into this experience that I'm already in and I'm just so grateful for it so um, yeah, it was like I looked up and all of a sudden I realized like, whoa, I always wanted to be this girl and now I am. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> and so that's what will happen to you. Um, it's like you just look up and it's everything and just materializes and you won't recognize that until you slow down and uh, just remember that at some point everything you want in your life you had everything you've ever wanted you've gotten you've received <laughs> and it may not have always been specifically what you wanted but there are, are things like you are living out at least one thing that you have prayed for and wanted so when we remember that I feel like it makes it like effortless to just shift into whatever experience you want and to experience whatever type of deliciousness you want to experience in your life. That's kind of my story time on uh, the first thing I ever like deliberately manifested. Um, 
And that's the thing. It's like deliberate manifestation. It's getting deliberate with the type of things you want to experience in your reality. Because if you're not deliberately creating the type of delicious experiences that you want to see um, and experience in your life, then what's going to end up happening is that you're just going to be experiencing things and you know you're just going to be responding to the things coming at you as opposed to recognizing like wait I can choose what type of experiences I want to have materialize in this beautiful thing called life so yeah so yeah this is my story and I'm sticking to it Ooh. My cousin fucked up when she got me this mic because I'm like, <laughs> I love the mic. It's a cute prop. But yes, um, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Like y'all know, I always say, ask not what your subscribers can do for you, but ask what you can do for your subscribers. Okay, I'm here for you. So comment down below and let me know what I can make a video on that will help you have whatever type of year you want to have. I want to help you experience this just supreme, sublime experience of being able to shift into anything that you want. It's just like driving a car. You just got to shift gears, you know? Um, I am a manifestation coach, so all of those links will be down in the description as well as the links to connect with me on my social media platforms. Um, you made it this far. You were a real one. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Thanks again for stopping by. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.